Can you believe it? I'm here. I made it. To the electronic. <clears throat> you guys, it's time to be evil. Time to be evil now. Oh, no, it's not. Time to sign into Xbox Live. Thanks for just popping that email right there. Thanks for that. Oh, God, what else are you going to do? Hmm. I swear to God, I've done this like 18 times. Yeah, rocking the Hotmail. There was a... Back when Xbox Live came out, you had to... You couldn't use Gmail. It was like, no, you have to use Hotmail. Okay, I'm evil now. Look at all this evil. Look at how... Oh, look at all these options. Oh, don't close your eyes. Don't. Look at how evil this is. There's gonna be... There's gonna be the jeans and Pinos. Let me out. Let me out. Oh, he's sad. Blip, 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 blip. How do they know already? I guess they saw. I love how, yeah, there's like glass panes that you can smash yourself up against. So gooey. It's such a great concept, it's weird that it took so long. Okay, so yeah, they do freak out when they see you. Oh, interesting, okay. When I played this, uh, the stealth... The stealth aspect wasn't actually... Okay, never mind, maybe this is the part they... Uh, uh, uh. Maybe there's an achievement for getting out without, uh, without alerting. I'm sure there is. I'm sure I've messed it up. I've utterly wrecked this gameplay, and all I can do is apologize. Bash her up a little bit. Of course, it's in a restroom, too, and it's a, it's a lady. Just, eh. Okay, you can't pull those off. Still in the art section? Oops. Yes, thank you. I am. This music is alright. Like that. Okay. I'll never look at a game again. No! You must! You must defend video games for our future generations. There it is. Oh no, that was only two achievement points! Can you imagine? How disgusting and, and horrible. Also, weirdly, it didn't show the notification on my main desktop? Ugh. Kinda have a face now. Yeah, only two Chivo points? Yeah. I don't know if this is going to be a hyper evil game and like make the last achievement worth three or something like that. 100% like the game, three points. You bitch. You ass. How dare you. I mean, this absolutely means I'm going to have to play this game until I get an even achievement score again. What is it at right now? Let's take a look! Uh... Why doesn't it show me? Pfft. Why doesn't it show me my achievements? Pfft. Why else do you think I would click on this? I mean, actually, the way that it, the way that the game bar handles achievements is is really sick. Uh, but it's weird that they don't show you how many you have. Never mind. Despite the uh, despite the branding, I actually do like the game bar quite a bit. You see the achievements for No Man's Sky are in weird numbers too? Why would they do that? Especially for No Man's Sky, man. Baiting somebody into like completing that game feels like a uh, like a mean thing to do. Do I have to crawl into my own butthole? Is that how we play this game? It sure is. There it is. Okay, I guess now they're over here. Hey, points. Man, God bless. This is this is real gaming, you guys. Game on Game Pass, getting 
sick Chivo points for it? Fuck yeah. Showing the dark side of an uneven gamer score. No! I've worked hard for this. I can't remember what game... What game had the gall to, uh, to unkink my score, but I specifically made sure it could not lay me low. I'm already a giant, like, bloody turd. Ugh. I wonder if- I wonder if I'll just get tired of seeing a writhing mass of guts and teeth be my- be my avatar. Eh. Eh. Alright, I guess that's not how you get down there. Playing as the Mercer virus? Basically. I'm playing as the spicy poo you don't wanna- you don't wanna take after eating a really big nacho plate with a ton of jalapenos. That's me right now. I'm already not really liking this. I like the music a lot. I'm not, I, yeah, it's, it's a very, it's, it's got a tone for sure. I do like the grimy sort of like Alien 3 look to it. it reminds me a lot of, uh, a lot of like late 90s games when everything was just like rusted plate metal and blood and goo and guts and... Yeah, it's, it's literally visceral. People overuse that word, but... Or they did. It's been a while, actually. Since that was you a big game. You're not scared, movie. are you? McClippy, thank you for the cheer. One day I will solve the riddle of McClippy. Do fans kill you? No? I don't do anything. Okay. I guess these are air ducts. Blip. How long until it comes across a girl blob? Yeah, a little blob with a bow in its hair. Or guts, I guess. Oh yeah, they have guns now. Guess what? Aw, oh, you had a gun though, didn't you? You're probably really proud of it. You probably thought you were gonna shoot me with it. Ooh, you didn't know. McLippy or McClippy? I honestly think it's McClippy, like, like Milady, but instead somebody's tipping their fedora to Clippy, the the Microsoft Word mascot. That's what I think of. Uh, so, Jesus, to some degree, I, I guess I already solved the riddle of who McClippy is. Dreams, man. This is horrid. Yeah, it kind of is. It kind of is. I feel like there have... It, it kind of has been a while since there's just been a real, like, grimy, edgy game. You know? We haven't had a game like Manhunt in a while. I guess Hatred, maybe. Um, Postal 3, if that ever exists. Okay, so you gotta eat people to get your health back? Yeah. Alright. Let's come out today? Yes. Visually reminds me of Rain World. I haven't played Rain World yet. I'm really interested in that game. Mm. Prototype? Yeah. Prototype had like kind of kind of body horror aspects to it. Prototype was a weird game, man. Ooh, arachno, arach, arachno, not tysis. Pew, pew. That's cool. Pew. Oh. I'm learning. Okay, spider shit. Yeah. I love saving my forbidden snacks in this game. Sometimes I put them someplace for later. 
That's really awesome. I love when, like, games really do empower you to, like, express personality. Uh... Oops, I think I missed something. Prototype was the edgy infamous? Oh, yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah, it was, wasn't it? Huh. Never really thought about it that way, but you're totally right. Wait, if you play, it's a bad guy. Like, well, never mind GTA 4 or whatever. Yeah, this is the one where he plays the bad guy. Someone's still alive? Oh, they're down there. Okay. Oh my God. This is this game is interesting because it doesn't try to convince you that these people are all stupid and deserve to die. Usually in a game like this, there's like scenes of just people being assholes or something. Or just something that like makes makes it more of a guilty pleasure to just haul off and murder all of them. Oof. People have kids at home? Not, well, I guess they still have kids, but they won't when I find them and eat them. Yeah, the sound design is good. The screams are good. It's evocative. It's it's making me feel a little icky. So that's kind of the point, right? Huh. Hive crevices. I like to slam them into the walls. Ugh. You don't have to kill people without the guns? Yeah. You can be a nice monster, I guess. What happens if you just chill next to one of them for a bit? I imagine they just freeze in terror, but I'll try. I'll try to... I guess I can't be down here yet. The whip! Nope. The snack that screams back. Are these fast travel? Ugh. It's so creepy. Oh, I can go up the elevator shaft, probably. Yeah. <laughs> All screams are hence henceforth. Yeah. Henceforth. Ah. Henceforth. Replaced with Goofy's yodel scream. <laughs> Man, he's so good. Goofy's Goofy's pure. been watching through the newer uh, Mickey Mouse cartoons just like the the Ren and Stimpy style ones and man Goofy usually gets some prime placement in those squeeze it what am I squeezing into hey okay. squeezing into a computer huh is it a flashback or something? This is cool. Oh! Oh, cool! I didn't see when I. So when I played the demo, there was nothing like uh, switching perspectives. This is awesome. Hip, hip, hip. Just gonna, just gonna take off. See you guys later. I know what's happening. Ah, shit. Well, that can't work. Is this a Metroidvania? Yes, that is how it's been it's been described. Um, certainly, the uh, the ingredients are there for it to be a Metroidvania. Uh, you get you get abilities that let you traverse new areas. Boop. Oh, my man has the biggest stride length. Yeah, he's got the, like that rotoscoped out of this world, another world flashback run antediluvian moss I used to know what that word meant oh, hey Pop-Tart 
point of the game is this? 10 to 15 minutes? Runs like the Liquid Terminator? Yeah, a bit. He's got a power, powerful stride. I'll see you, Nick Fury. Thanks for hanging out, man. Thank you for the thank you for the donations too. Man, this game this game has real solid vibes. I'm into this. I wasn't expecting. Uh, I honestly wasn't expecting to play as uh, human characters. This is neat. Oh, time before... Okay. Antediluvian belonging to time before Biblical Flood. Thanks, Google. Got it. Okay, so you are playing as like some... Hmm. Some ancient demonic terror, I guess. Oh, maybe I had to wait for them to get over there. The droning droney sound? Yeah. Yeah, the, the sound design in this game so far has been amazing. Because, yeah, that drone produces a kind of very unpleasant warble. This just like general tone of dread. Yeah, Mecca. The the animation, especially with how smooth and high frame rate and like almost borderline rotoscoped, maybe actually rotoscoped the animations are very similar to another world. Not to mention that that zero points. What is this goddamn game's problem? I mean, a human like that. I'm gonna watch from bed. All right, Una. See you later. Have a great night. Sleep well. Hopefully, all the screams and blood curdling yells don't don't get in the way. New Animaniacs episodes. That's gonna be surreal. What is that happening? I hold on. Whip. Okay. Well, the detail in this, yeah, the, the pixel art is is fantastic. Those human sequences are great to do exposition. Just ripping shit apart all the time would be a bit much. I agree, Ghost Doc. I, and that's something I was kind of worried about. Because, uh... Yeah, I... I don't know. I, I hate to keep throwing it back to it, but it's like... It's the most thing I've got to refer to at the, this point, so... Yeah, the thing that I, like... I noticed when I played it is that it was fun and, like, the mechanics worked well. And some of the fights were actually really interesting to try and, uh... Try and figure out. But, uh... It was... It was... It was intense, and the brutality kind of... Kind of stacked up after a while. So let me let me flip one of them. Let's we'll see what flipping does. Okay. Okay, it knocks him to the floor. They lay down on the ground and look at you coming. Oh, man. Yes. Oh, you got a gun? I guess sometimes they take a little while to recover. Uh, hey, D. Hargrove. Thanks for the sub. Appreciate you. Welcome to the stream. Blah, blah, blah. That was a bit Lovecrafty, you think? Uh, yeah, I guess if it's like pre-biblical time kind of terror, I get I get like big John Carpenter vibes, uh, like the thing, you know, just creepy, creepy like '80s grade gore monstrosities. Uh, is this game difficult at all? Uh, I don't know. Not yet.
this just kind of seemed like you can barrel into a room, kill everyone, and then eat them. And be fine. I think later there are enemy types you can't just do that to. It does seem like there's a lot of, like, getting around behind people once they notice where you are and stuff, so you can pull the old horror game switcheroo on people. Get them, like, creep on down behind them. Oops. Christ. I, mean, I guess you can just sit next to him. Bleed everywhere. Hot damn. <laughs> We're killing them in a really slow and painful fashion. It'd be interesting if the game like ranked that, but I don't know, part of it is fun because it's just like, you can kind of be as sadistic as you want, but that's also the point because you're a terrible horror space monster. Try hitting a person with a person? I will. If they don't have guns, it becomes a lot easier. Oh yeah, here we go. Like, like this is when it starts layering on. The bazooka man. Oh, oh, okay, you can't get close to him. Interesting. Ah! Wow, they got me. Sit next to him and give him a life full of nightmares. That's way worse than killing. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe those guys you have to web? Maybe. Shit. Yeah, this is on Game Pass. Pretty crazy. That's how I'm playing it. I was I was about to buy it actually. Luckily, people in chat reminded me it was on Game Pass. Uh, Attila the Nun. What a what an amazing name. Thank you for the Prime sub. Poncho Punch. Thanks for the sub. Uh, that wasn't good. If you don't like horror, this definitely isn't for you. Yeah. It's interesting to have a horror game where the horror is not about... Like, you get to be the in insider of the horror, but it's still, like... It still feels creepy? Dang it. Okay. Oh, he's fighting. Can you not eat them? I guess not. Dang it. Jesus. Some of these dudes just, in the demo at least, wouldn't die either. You had to like slap them all over the place. Can you throw bodies around? Sure. Yes, you can. There. That's pretty good. Pretty good sling. Ooh. No, you can't eat those. Uh, there's a reason for that later on. Ooh. Damage vent covers and wooden walls slash enemies. Excellent. Sephoria. Too much bristle in that armor. No. Yeah. You know, my teeth aren't what they used to be. Uh, oh, okay. I get a punch. Punch my way into the butthole. Is it on PC Game Pass or just console? It's on PC because I'm, I'm playing it on PC right now. Playing it on PC with my controller and getting those hot chivos. Life is good. Life is good.
Yeah, I remember part of the part of the design was that like the bigger you get, the bigger of a target you are, and the more damage you end up taking. So sometimes you have to shrink down to get to different parts of the level or to do particular engagements. Some fights are easier if you're tiny and can just grab people. legs. Shit. Oh, that's a bad idea. Wow. Woof. Bad move. Bad maneuver. Luckily, I have some snacks. health mechanic when you think about it in those terms. Shoot. Let's give him a little... a little... a little tour around the room. Oh, right. I don't... I guess I don't have my bash ability if I'm too small. That sound. That sound is so bad. We're all, we're all so scared, but I'm hungry. Wait, hold on a second. Jesus. Oh! Oh no. Alright, well, I feel like you two have suffered enough, so... God. You oinked that spine right out, right? I'm always amazed how, like, you can communicate certain visual... Or certain... Certain, like, fun moments through pixel art. Well, I freed that man's skeleton. But yeah, I guess this is starting to be the uh, the Metroidvania aspect of it. No, never mind. I guess I'm still still doing it. Hey, Turbid, how you doing? Yeah, turning a little big here. Can't remember where the. Uh... I can't remember where the uh, wooden doors are. Oh, hmm. When is We Share Wednesday now? I don't know. I might move it to be more of a monthly thing. Uh... kind of enjoying chomping on people right now. Ooh. Let me just tuck on in there. That looks like roughly the end of the demo. Yeah, I can't remember exactly where the demo ended, but if you played it recently, then you would know. More than me. Grouse Chimp and Matto? Hey, thank you for the Prime subs, guys. Oh, I really wanted to look at what was on those monitors. Yeah, you've suffered enough. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, that's why. Too big! Too fat! Oh, that's right. Yeah, you can kind of... Oh, that's cool! Okay. So now I'm, now I'm web banned. Ah! Arr. Neat! Okay. I like that. Okay, so that's how you, like move and activate around your powers. Get to them cracks. Oh, 
thinking to do it in a casual stream of Halo games tomorrow in honor of Halo Infinite? Sounds like a good idea. A little topicality never hurt nobody. Okay. I like how when you just, if you sit in a place, all these little red dribbles come out of you and just roll. Ugh. Oh! Oh, okay. Dang it, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I won't take that long to get around again. <clears throat> Carry into 10 out of 10, you really feel like a monster? Yeah, it's a... It's a really cool... Um, oh, I see. Yeah, you can make yourself smaller and then use the webs to, I guess, stick them to the ceiling. That's cool. I like the kind of almost puzzle nature of some of the combat so far. Can you nom the soldiers? Not those... No, I can't nom them. They're wearing, like, suits. That make them unnomable. Ooh. I feel like edible corpses are all over the place, but maybe that'll be a bigger problem later. God, that sound. Ugh. Just a friendly gl glomp? Did I get glomped just now? What's the su political subtext of this game? All games are politics in 2020. Uh, you're right. Uh, the blob monster is Trump, um, but also SJWs. And the humans are Americans that Trump is eating, or Americans that SJWs are eating. Um, that's John Carpenter noise. It kind of is. This is a very John Carpenter kind of game, which by no means is a bad thing. No, okay, yeah, the Blob Monster is SJWs, and all the all the people are gamers. Oh, what's up, Ritual Juggler? It's very open to interpretation. Yeah. Watch Dog's Legion was too on the nose? About what? I didn't I didn't watch the latest like video for Legion, so from their like uh, the Ubisoft conference they did. So I don't know where it's I don't know what's going with that. Okay then. Wait a minute, was that a switch? Oh, protest against police aggression. Yeah, I mean it's it's conceivable that that was that was part of the game before the protests happened, but they had more with Xbox Today on Legion. Really? Oh, like in the the pre or post show kind of thing. Just getting juiced. Is this a good thing? Okay, I guess eventually I'll get a power that gets charged by that. Oh. Oh, okay, that resets it. Got it. It's for power later? Yeah. There's drone or something? Oh. Yeah, Laura Pug. Carrion is out. Came out today. It's on Game Pass. Oops. Shoot, I didn't want to do that. So I fired up that Xbox TM application. Uh, Xbox branded application on my old Microsoft Windows 10 TM installation. And pop, plop that old game right on my hard drive and I'm playing it now. Ooh, I get another flashback. Kind of paints it in oh i don't think it has to do with the recent protests besides it take place in england yeah i mean civil unrest is is sort of a a cornerstone theme of watchdogs um or at least even though aiden like in the first game really didn't give a shit about any of that it's kind of the 
or the, the world you get embroiled in, I guess. Um, I didn't play Watch Dogs 2, but... Uh, yeah, I feel like I feel like protesters clashing with police is kind of core imagery to Watch Dogs as a franchise. So. It wouldn't surprise me if, like, uh... Yeah, if, if incidentally it had that going on in it. Ubisoft uh, has a, a very weird ability to predict things a little. I, yeah, I think so. Uh, I think more that maybe their their game their game subjects and storytelling maybe come from a different sort of place. They're more um, inspired by current world events. Maybe Watch Dogs Two is a lot more power to the people. Mm. I haven't installed it because they gave it away for free. I wanted to, to play it to catch up before Legion came out, but... Which is also why I'm playing Odyssey. We all gotta put in our, uh... Our open world Ubisoft game homework. Oh, Legion will be doubly so? Oh yeah. Especially since, like, there's a whole game mechanic around generating NPCs for you to play as. They didn't predict how badly Watch Dogs would be received. <laughs> Oh, uh, you're right there. Uh, <laughs> couldn't tell that particular fortune, could you, Ubisoft? Hmm. Oh, am I the carrion? Am I like a dude that got infected with a thing? Or lady? I see some I see some lady bumps there. Cyclopean entity of unknown origin. Ugh. Watch Dogs 2 has big born mobile vibes. Hey youths! Yeah. Man, I can't wait to play Watch Dogs 2! Texting and socializing and of course customizing. Ubisoft sure threw me into a weird spot with all the sexual allegations. Ah. Love DC Odyssey despite all the microtransactions, and I really liked Watch Dogs too. Hmm. I don't know. That stuff can be tough. You gotta you gotta do what you think is right, um, obviously. But I do think like corporations aren't one pe one person. Um, and it's a lot of different people. You wanna punish the people, right? You wanna punish the right people. Um. CEO really doesn't care. Yeah. I guess the idea is if you punish the company off, then the CEO will have to care. You make it. You make it about money. Well, that's a that's a biomass, huh? Jeez. This game oozes alien vibes. I think, like, the intersection of machinery and, and gross body horror. And, and just the r rickety, clankety, like, rust and metal and oil kind of feel of the world is very alien. That whole, like, we're in space, but everything's running on diesel. Um... Yeah, it's 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 a cool vibe. Oh man, this pixel art is so good. Wow. How is how is everything so like Oh all the video games are great! Ah they're all great. Jesus. <sighs> games that were even like looked this old didn't look this good. This is like better pixel art than basically any retro game. <laughs> Man. The thing meets H.R. Geiger? Yeah, I, I would say Geiger if it was more like skeletal and sexual. Geiger loves his spines and he loves his vaginas and he loves his dicks. This just seems to be like just straight like almost Cronenberg body horror. Um, the, the carrion himself. I don't know. I, I shouldn't profess to be an expert here, though. I'm, I'm certainly not super well-read on, on horror. Not to the degree that, that some people are. <laughs> the Thing, yeah, it, it feels very The Thing. Um, 
Not to mention it's on like a mining outpost and you're kind of you're kind of uh, preying on the, the crew. That, that also feels very the thing. Okay. I need to be smaller. Which means I need to either get hurt or find a yeah, body of water to barf my shit in. Uh, or maybe more... more. What if Geiger did hentai? Well, then you just have Bible Black. Maybe. Hold on. No, like... It's, it's weird. All the... All the... I feel like Geiger's version of hentai would just be all the demon stuff. What's that one that uh, Taimonen Asagi, the like the game that got booted off of Steam? That's like Japanese Geiger. Technically, Geiger did a lot of did a lot of weird erotic shit. I mean, yeah, all, his art is so is so incredibly sexual. That's what makes it so fucking creepy. Oh, agony, yeah. I was thinking Bubble Black more for just how just skeletal some of the people can be, but they're always flesh, they're always covered in skin, so there's that. Yeah, boob penises. All crying. <laughs> oh, Junji Ito is your favorite? Well, little like eye stalks that come out when you're gonna grab something? Ugh. Oh yeah, the Xenomorph just has a penis for a head. Hell yeah. Not to mention that, like, the face hugger is a vagina that, like, basically or orally rapes you. I mean, there's there's a lot of very cool... And, and really, it doesn't take that... It's not that hard to, like... Not that hard to piece it together, but, like, the... The things that Alien and Aliens does with, like, ideas of impregnation and and motherhood and, and life creation dynamics and how that can just be really creepy and gross Geiger porn wouldn't have humans it'd just be one kind of demon fucking another kind of demon which is most Geiger art to begin with so yeah also like how the monster just kind of like naturally snaps light bulbs that you come across Hey, what's up, Benins? Am I liking the game? I'm liking it pretty good so far. It's, uh... It's an, it's an interesting feeling. An interesting vibe. Oh, the baby C-section in Prometheus is all kinds of fucks. I haven't seen Prometheus yet. I haven't seen Prometheus yet. I think I have the Blu-ray borrowed from Matt Peak. I gotta, I gotta watch that and give it back. I think the beanie monster would be a monster moments. That's an interesting idea. I don't know. We'll find out. <clears throat> Part of me kind of hopes not. It feels like a. It feels like. Maybe an obvious? Oops. Ah. Uh, I guess web is probably not what I need there anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Don't we all have a primal fear of getting skull fucked by a jumping vagina? I mean, kinda, yeah. Yes. We can't do that yet, trust me? Okay. Yeah, I was just gonna mess around with it just a teensy bit more, but I don't think I need to. Maybe I don't need to be in this area? Like, drag them in in slow motion while they're, like, kicking. Oh my god. Oh! 
interesting. Oh, you're still alive. Jeez, see, you gotta really smack them around sometimes. Hey, what's up, Nero Viking? Oh, there's another one. Imagine this game, but with Last of Us, two people shouting the names of the people you kill. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I feel like in a game like this, you would use that just for the comedy of it. You'd have, like, pixel art of somebody looking at a picture of their family right before you, like, snap them up and chomp them, yank their head off. <clears throat> yeah, despite what it looks like, I'm not trying to give anyone motion sickness, but that is just what happens when you have to slap somebody around a lot. Gotta give him a little paddling. Yeah, just like in real life. Oh, they got flamethrowers now. I love how the escalation of the troops that you go up against kind of matches the early stages of a movie. You know, like, it's just dopey scientists and people with handguns and now the, the fucking marines are here. With tasers and, and flamethrowers. stuff that's like technically more effective but the monster still keeps getting them from behind and shit like just like that Rawr. like the the single bulb of light in any given room that snaps as soon as the monster rolls through and all the blinks and like the James Cameron-esque like a uh, light uh, light strobing god damn it hold on a minute let me try this the port on the front of my PC is giving out, but... This is... Somebody's, like, grinding metal outside? That's extremely loud. That's fine. Uh, the underground setting reminds me of Blackthorn. Oh, man. I can see that, yeah. That kind of, like... Prince of Persia kind of game. But with the, uh, like, that... That dank 90s comic book look. I liked Blackthorn a lot. Don't be mad. Don't be mad, I'm on fire. I told you not to be mad. Oh, there we go. Ah, 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 ah. Oh. Oh. Jeez. Luckily, humans are very squishy. Doesn't take a whole lot. <clears throat> Why does that keep happening? This controller is very fundamentally plugged in. I just want it to charge. When Town Funk was made for Beat Saber, like 100%, that song fits so damn well. Why does that keep happening? Stop. I don't understand. They really capture the crawling terror aspect of the creature well? Yeah. Controller's dying? I mean, it's plugged in. It should just be charging. <clears throat> How dare you do this to me? On, on the Xbox day of Xbox. On this, the day of John Master Chief.
Make you hate Uptown Funk. I can't remember what it was, but I think it was somebody in chat actually. I think when when we played when we were playing Rock Band, picked Uptown Funk. Somebody's just like, man, white people love Uptown Funk, and I was like, yeah, that we do. You nailed it. Is it weird that I'm eating dinner while watching this? I don't think so. Dinner is delicious. It isn't like a nice pile of dinner. Oh, okay. Gotta go back and flip that stupid switch. Wherever it was. Maybe I gotta be maybe I gotta be teeny. Oh, there's a mm, yeah, hold on. Yeah, let me try my code. reminds me of Shogoth, the Crawling Terror, all eyes and mouth. Hmm. Ah, okay. Alright. Now I can move through the laser beams. What? Like the Typhon from Prey? Kind of is, yeah. Oh, right. Typhon were not, like, not quite as... as blood and guts. But, uh... Still a cool look. They were very, like, wispy and tenderly, for sure. It's a monster meant to be a vagina dentata thing. I don't think so. It doesn't look Oh you can't oh you can't okay. You don't get you don't get stealth power if you're a big Damn it, stop. Stop it! For real stuff. Also, how do you get stealth power back? Oh, maybe that's what you have to charge. With those little conduits. That yeah, makes sense. So now I'm out. God damn it. Ugh. Dang it. Okay. There it is. Oh, there we go. Okay. I do get a little sick of every new generation of devs discovering Lovecraft and acting like they're some kind of innovative pioneers. We're doing what it done <clears throat> dozens of generations before them also did. Uh yeah, I don't know that anyone is is necessarily that haughty about Lovecraft uh, Lovecraftian video games. Maybe they are, but um, I don't know. I, th I think it's the precepts work pretty well for a video game. Wait. Yeah, Lovecraft is pretty racist, and apparently not a very good writer either. Damn it. I haven't read anything, so I've got no particular take on that. This is the Necromorph's point of view in Dead Space. Yeah, basically, yeah. You're popping all into all through vents and stuff, and grabbing people, killing a humble research team. I'll never meet your heroes, I guess. I mean, I don't, I don't think you had to meet Lovecraft. To uh, to get that. Apparently, it's pretty it's pretty bald in his writing. Uh, his 
his less than stellar political views and also his less than stellar writing ability. Okay, I think Lovecraft writing was okay, good enough for short stories at least. All right, yeah, I'm I'm only going off other people's takes here. Like I said, I haven't read anything, so I'm uh I'm merely merely parroting what I've been what I've been uh what I've been told. Hey, Master of Shans, how are you? Good to see you. Yeah, this is a pretty pretty nice blood monster. Pretty solid blood monster there. Get that blood monster, all right. Oh, yeah, I gotta deposit mass. Nope, wrong button. Ah! Uh, oh lord! All right. Well, at least it's right here. Wait, is it? I thought it was this. Oh, that's right. It's in here. Uh, you notice how batshit insane he was? His racism wasn't just ignorance, but obsessive weirdness. Oh, hmm. Is that better? I don't know. Probably? Maybe? I'm over here now. I guess there aren't a lot of better kinds of racism, huh? <laughs> Turns out they're all bad. I've read almost any, everything he's done. Uh, honestly, he deserves to be called the godfather of weird fiction, but yes, yeah, some of his stuff can get a little hard to get through nowadays. Gotcha. That is a very... Sounds like a very educated uh, and rational take. I accept it as my own. There. I don't have to read now, and I could get to sound smart. You got tiny again? Yeah, uh, sometimes you have to shed biomass because your abilities change based on your size. When you're big, you can do shoulder cha charges, or I guess stuff charges, and uh, break through particular walls. When you're tiny, you can go stealth and shoot webs. So that leans into the um, leans into the Metroidvania aspects of it, I guess. Let's see. I gotta admit, I don't know where to go now, but. Hey, what's a Metroidvania if you knew where to go? Oops. Does that mean there's nothing here? Lovecraft died penniless and deeply regretting the racism. He was agoraphobic and xenophobic from an extremely sheltered upbringing and lack of global awareness of cultures, which was typical at the time. Also, it wasn't his cat. It was a relative he was caring for. Huh. That's interesting. I feel like when, I, when people say they don't consider Lovecraft a great writer, they're more fans of the lore of his books than the actual writing. I mean, yeah. I think it's more and more concept in what can be done with it. Breach by mess samples lost. Oh, okay. Containment unit. So I guess the containment units are by level, maybe? He was borderline mentally ill. Oh man. Same with Lord of the Rings. Eh. Lord of the Rings could get pretty wordy. Um, but you know, it was a fantasy epic. I think I think it's probably not paced like most people would expect something to be paced nowadays, but I didn't I didn't mind the uh I didn't mind the uh the the kind of the slower pace. So wait. Oh, that only means it's only active guys that yell at you. Okay. I thought this was a way to guide you to new areas to explore. Hmm. Philip K. Dick was schizophrenic and when cured became a drug addict, crazy people can write some amazing stuff. Yeah, yeah. Philip K. Dick's arc is kind of interesting. Hmm. I don't know where I'm going. 
Must be a Metroidvania. Uh, I'm trying to think. I have stealth power now, but I can't remember any other laser gates that I couldn't or didn't go through. I mean, I guess there's this one. No, that, that goes the other way, though. Hmm. No. Now I'm just back here. Oh wait, no, that's a different... Oh no, wait, it's it's the same. It's the same. Yeah, I totally came from here. Uh, run into the ladder a lot. Oh, being people being like, this person was super racist, and like, yeah, you mean all of them? Yeah. Slowly, uh... Slowly realizing that it's intertwined with our human culture. And not just a one-off. Oh. I guess that just zaps you when you get too close or something? Hmm. Uh, what 14 server do I play on? I am on Leviathan. But as long as you pick a server under Primal, you can do you can do ma like match up for stuff. The Primal Data Center, which is a group of like four or five servers, I think. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where to go. Uh. I feel like I came from here. No map? Not that I know of, no. Are you getting smaller? Yes. I have intentionally shed biomass to move faster. Right bumper's map? No, right bumper's web. I can see why that might look like a map. Um, I mean, there's people crying down here, so that's... No, I just came down here, damn it. Yeah, I like the look of Avowed too, but usually wise to withhold your excitement so you know for sure what you're what you're dealing with. Hey, what's up, Andrew? Yep, this is a uh, this is a visual novel. Playing the latest, playing the latest romantic visual novel out of Japan. It was an area that had two lasers and one pipe, but I don't remember where it was. Yeah. Um, man, I feel like it's in another area through another butthole, but yeah. I'm gonna fuck that thing. Not gonna lie. Just hit it with a car battery and then do whatever you need to. Uh. Oh! Whoa. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Never mind. I thought I'd figured it out for a second. I didn't. I actually didn't. Where the hell? Maybe I need to go back to that other... Maybe I need to find the containment and break it. Maybe I'll go do that. I'll go do that. That's at least something, right? I'm not sure if any without a map. Yeah, I mean, none of the areas are so big that you can't mentally track them. I guess it's... well, I guess I'm having that exact problem. Uh... So never mind. I haven't gotten up there, I don't think. I can't... can't slip through blocks that way. Nope! Did that exact thing before. Hmm. Oh, here we go. What? Oh, wait. No, I've been here. I think. 
Wait, no, oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, the two lasers with a pipe. This is it, thank you. What is this game? It's on Game Pass, not sure if it's worth downloading. I mean I find it I find it hard to uh or it's pretty easy to justify downloading and checking a game out. But yeah, this one you play as a basically an 80s horrific tentacle monster. Oh, thank you, controller. Yes. Why do you do that? Why can't you just charge without disconnecting and reconnecting every so often? It's not a bad cable. These are good cables. Fair amount of killing. Is that carnage? Woody Harrelson himself? Do you think he's still gonna play Carnage in Venom 2 or whatever? Venomer? Do you eat them? You can, yes. That's how you recover health. Oh. Dang it. I grabbed the foot instead of the dude with the gun. Which is what I very much wanted to do. What part of your gaming lust is this satisfy? I don't know. I, uh, as much as I appreciate the visuals, they're gross. This is fun, but I don't know that I could, like, I don't know that I could look at this game for, like, three hours. Maybe I could. I don't know. Ugh. Snap. I'm down by a lowly pistol? I know, it's sad. Yeah, the sound design is, is so good. Uh, the, the score is amazing. Um... The environmental audio is is just incredible. Yeah, you'll get used to it. I'm yeah, I imagine after a while you just stop stop hearing the screams. Alex, keep being the gamer, all rights reserved we need, I will. As long as I have to, I will. Have at you, Snake. Thanks for the Prime. Uh, Twitchbot, thanks for the 100 bits. Werewolf, thank you for the, thank you for the resub. Five months of being a hard gamer. Big hard gaming. That's what we're all about here. I keep saying it. Maybe someday. Maybe someday people will learn and understand. The, uh... The real value, the cultural phenomenon. What is that sound? Let's hope it's fireworks. I'm sure it's fireworks. Oh, I can't eat that guy. Stupid guy in their non-edible suits. Played Thrill Kill on the PS1 as a kid and I turned out fine. I never played that one. I might have judged myself, or I might have... I might have judged it too much of a temptation away from the Lord at that time. Yeah, Scarlet, I'm enjoying it. This game's fun. Oops. It's a great concept. Executed very, very well. So far, anyway. Alright, so I gotta break this thing. Wait, there's another... Is it over here? Yeah, here we go. I gotta smash the wood. Smash the wood. And then I have to get tiny so that I can web. Where, where was the... I don't remember where the... The 
pile of, of water that I can fart in is. I never played Fear Effect. No. I wanted to. There it is. Ah, I got now I got the juice. effect really good? Really big sick? I remember people liking it okay at the time, but like... I remember that was deep into Square's infatuation with making movies. So kind of like that in, in Parasite Eve were the two super, uh, super cinematic games. Why does, uh, that keeps happening with like weird consistency. The controller disconnecting and reconnecting. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. Much. Oh. I'm not sure how much this discussion will actually discourage discourage new Twitch viewers. Um. Uh. Nay, nay, Nalo. I hope I'm saying your name right. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure what you mean. I'm on fire. I need water. Uh, okay, there we go. Interesting. Uh, I, I mean, uh, I think it's, I think it's pretty normal to to not like it when somebody in chat's being like, seems like they're instigating, and causing disagreements. And it's uh certainly my interest to make sure that that doesn't happen too often, but it's gonna happen. Just part of uh, poor Spookums. Yeah, Spookum got hurt. Spookum got hurt. That's okay. Hey, Kid Icarus. How are you? Hmm. Oh. Steam? Uh, no, Xbox. Ay, ay, ay. Xbox Game Pass. I feel I also felt disconnected from the rest of the audience. You mean the things I was saying or just what was being said? Yeah, it is on Game Pass. It is on Game Pass on PC. So that's how I'm playing it. It's on Steam as well if you don't have Game Pass. Yeah, but like for the cost of the game, you could get Game Pass. I'm not trying to talk you into it, but man. All the weird concept stuff like this? Yeah, it's awesome. You should check it out. Uh Cheese ball. Wait, hold on. Cheese balls united. What is this game? It's called Carrion, and in it you basically play as a, a horrific horror monster going around killing a bunch of research people in a lab you're trying to escape from. You basically control it by like basically grabbing things and slinging them around with your tendrils, and then you get like you get monster powers. I think the wrong time to come outside, bud. Yeah, you get to be the thing, pretty much. If you drop off too much biomass in the water, you can't heal at save points. Be sure to pick those up again. Really? And they, they, do they just stay there? Like, forever? What, well, you make an alternate persona that is satire on e-gamers? I don't understand how I could, considering I am... I am the world's foremost e-gamer, so why would I satirize what I live so purely? Ooh, there we go. Can turn into worms. Stop, controller. Okay, I was wondering when that ability would pop up. Ugh, that's creepy looking. Hmm. 
I don't think you can argue on Twitch with a lot of irrational people. I mean, you can't argue with irrational people at all. That's that's kind of the bummer. Is ah, I I have pretty low tolerance for people who are either looking for arguments or are primed to speak in a certain way. There's a lot of people who absorb like flowchart arguments and also can't stand to not be right. Like once once they enter a topic, they have to win it, um, and they do it with like. Just the same talking points because they think because they've rehearsed conversations in their heads but they haven't had conversations with anyone other than their friends who were role-playing being stupid but so it's like hmm couldn't really do it either but i'm not sure you can focus so much on it on it on a stream oh oh so you, you think i talked about it too much i'm sorry i'm still trying to understand the nature of uh hey what's up bella Playing, playing creepy meat game. Oh, you can ch yank little pieces of them off. Okay. Oh no, there's a little, a little cockpit. Yeah, I said exactly what Ben Shapiro said, and the guy didn't give up and say that he was wrong and I was right. What happened? I don't get what's being discussed here. I'm trying to be vague about it for the, I think the exact reasons that I can tell are being brought up. Just like some, some guy came in and was kind, kind of being a bit. A bit, uh, a bit edgy with his opinions. So I was like, what's going on? Then he started popping out all these, like, conservative talking points. And I was like, god damn it, dude. The problem is, it's like, the, it's that simultaneous game of, like, being annoyingly aggressive, but then also claiming, like, you're getting picked on. So my agenda was to try to make it clear, both to this gentleman and to the rest of chat, that I wasn't persecuting anyone for their beliefs. Merely enforcing a standard of, of behavior and decency. Cry bully. Wow, that's such the perfect term for it. Holy crap. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Damn, I love that name. Okay, so, yeah, I guess cry bully. And yeah, I was basically like, eh. The thing is, like, I, I feel like it's not about the one conversation. It's about sort of demonstrating... Demonstrating... Um, a behavior and a standard to everyone else and and in that standard it's like you have to demonstrate fairness you know I'm gonna ask you to I'm gonna ask you to back off of these behaviors and uh, and then it's like the, the dude would try to put conditions on him like no you no, come on now like it's pretty simple just talk about anything else and we can move on but there's that like I need to win thing that was just going on so it's it's to basically like try to give somebody a f visibly give somebody a fair shake but then also have a pretty clear line where it's not it's pretty clear that they don't care about that shake i don't know if that makes any sense to you but that's my approach um i want to come from, away from a debate having learned no other reason for debate really if you want to try to change minds that's slightly different yeah yep people need to be challenged no they don't uh, you can't just assume you know everything about everything. That is true. But the whole, like... It is it is no one's responsibility to challenge somebody else's beliefs when that wasn't asked to happen. If that makes sense, so... Well, I, I should condition uh, conditionalize that because I know people like to get very absolutist when it comes to morality and that leads to some pretty an annoying shit, so... There's a time and a place, yeah. Thank you. I think there were some things that you can challenge, like, things that relate to bigotry operate under different rules. Like, you're not, you're not obligated to tolerate bigotry in polite company. You're not obligated to, like, respect somebody's beliefs if it's about bigotry. Like, I feel, I feel pretty good that most moral society has decided that, like, intolerance and bigotry is... You're allowed. You're allowed to, uh, to to call it out. What am I having for dinner? I don't know yet. I've got like I've got like maybe 450 calories left. I think you can teach individuals about behaviors, but not a community or the people. Uh, I agree. I don't. I don't think that it's it's my responsibility to change the world. But I I I think pretty passionately it is my job to. Uh, oh, you have to be in water. That's cool. It is my job to establish a, a, commu a community tone. 
And I think part of that is, uh... Is, you know, tough but fair kind of stuff. People don't walk into a grocery store and start screaming at random people about politics or religion, for example. Most don't. Until somebody in that store isn't wearing a mask, and then it, be, it just gets weird. Somehow that's a stance. Who knows? Oh, Ruby, it's taco night? Nice. Nice. It's a good night. What does 450 calories of food look like? Depends what the food is. Um, if it's just a chicken breast and some vegetables, you can make a decent meal out of that. That happens at my work. Oh, what, people making mass political? Refusing? Hmm. I would disagree with the statement that it's not your job to stay, stay, change the world. The important part is having a Voice, being the voice of reason, in this day and age people listen to stupid things and parrot them without thinking. It's leads to climate change denial. Yeah. Uh. I mean, <clears throat> I feel like that, that can be filed under the everyone needs to do their part sort of thing. Pro meal bar and a couple almonds? Yeah, could be that. We'll see. Who knows? Hmm, interesting. Oh, webs, right. Okay, I got it. That wasn't a Whopper 450? Maybe a little more? Oh, the... I'm talking about the, the Devil's Advocate blanket. Devil's Advocate is the slightly punched up version of it was just a joke. I think that's a problem. A lot of political streamers ban their viewers for views they don't share, and that bleeds over to other streamers. Oh. Well, I don't do that. Um, I mean, I, I think maybe on occasion it can come off that way. I think it's more like it's it's disagreements and, and shitty antisocial behavior um, happening because of the disagreement, but like... There's plenty of people in chat who don't agree with my stupid hippie ass on video games or liberalism or whatever. Uh, I don't require them to. Oops. Did I just kill myself? No, okay. Um, and, I, and I understand the dynamic, right? Like, I get to sit up here and say whatever I want, and then I get to call people out if, if I feel like uh, I don't agree with them. And then because of the dynamic, people are probably more predisposed to take my side in anything than anything else, so... I've, I've tried to be more mindful of that, for sure. Um, to avoid making it seem like I'm in, trying to get... Or trying to, uh... Get a gang to agree with me. But I feel like, I don't know, I, I've, uh... I've multiple times in the past been disagreed with by people in chat that make good points and while I may not personally agree with them I can't I can't deny the like the logic in somebody else's perspective I feel like there's been plenty of moments like that yeah of course yeah your audience is biased to follow your lead of course it's just or let me put it I'll put it another way that makes it seem a little like there's a little more autonomy um, maybe they're here because they don't disagree with me all the time um, which doesn't, you know, mean they're following my lead or that I'm right or anything like that. It's just, you know, people, people that agree tend to, tend to group up. It can be annoying listening to things you disagree with for hours. <laughs> you like it with the mouse keyboard? Yeah, I haven't even tried that yet. I feel like... That would make slinging things around feel a little different, but not necessarily bad or anything like that. Ooh, what is this? I've seen those icons around sometimes. This is our Facebook anti-vax group. Hell yeah. 
I'm here because I was told you're running for president and the Goyle platform is the only one I can get behind. Was I misinformed? Uh, no, actually. No, you, you're you right on. Provided that you are also a wealthy donator. Investor. Because my uh, campaign funds are not doing so hot and I could use an infusion of cash. <laughs> Just because we watch doesn't necessarily mean we agree with his politics or stances on internet trolls. Find a bug on my desk and now I'm super fucking paranoid. Well, what kind of bug? There was one of those big, stupid, like, real dumbass buzz, buzz beetle kind of guys. Like Cicada, basically. Stephanie saw yesterday and it was an unpleasant surprise. I guess, I guess fundamentally I'm still confused what the, what the concern is or the, uh, if there's a, if there's a potential requested, what is that? That's a controller, man. Oh, I don't get it. Gotta be some quirk, some Windows quirk I don't understand. I feel like this place all needs to be underwater or something. sort of Eldritch Horror are you playing as? Just like Meat Pile, really. Just Meat Man. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well that's the final room, so I probably shouldn't be getting in there right now anyway. Uh, which means I probably don't have anything to do over here. Alright. Oh yeah, I think this guy opened up? No? Person's pooping. Thanks, Windows. Can your next 24 hour stream be all anime titty games? And if you get banned, can you just continue to stream on Pornhub? What the fuck is going on? Oh my god, that's really annoying. Stop. The top of the con connection is touchy if it's an Xbox controller. I can wiggle it and that doesn't cause it to disconnect. Also, I won't. Sometimes I don't even like. Don't even touch it. Hold on, let me, let me flip the cable around. I'm sure that'll do it. Yeah, window, just keep bleep 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 booping. Jeez. Okay, let's try that. Maybe it is the USB-C cable. Open up device manager and watch the things disappear. Ugh. Hold on. Like, it, it's not the USB... It's not the con uh, game controller getting disconnected. Stop it! Because <clears throat> it, like... It'll dingle, but it'll still be there and it'll still work. <clears throat> Damn it! I don't know. Is it USB-C or micro? It's C. Maybe I had to just open up the Windows control panel window and it stopped. Problem with the term trolls is it a blanket term? Not all trolls are some cons not our trolls are the same, and some are constructive and helpful, and others are just belligerent. What? No neat sauce, that's not true at all. Trolls by definition are not constructive. What are you talking about? <laughs> Do you know what trolls are? <laughs> That sounds like something a troll would tell themselves, to be like, yeah, I did something good today. I'm like, well, no, you didn't. At best, a troll is kind of funny for two seconds. And then you move on with your life, because they've already wasted too much of your time. Yeah, that's not what troll means. <laughs> what? Uh, I mean, if you think about it, though, that was actually a pretty effective troll. So... Yeah, maybe that's a, maybe that's, you know what, perhaps, perhaps I'm the fool.
<laughs> I mean, that's solid ass troll. Can't argue with that. Uh. Wait, hold on. Just reminded me of something that bothers me lately. People like you when expressing their opinion like to add my stupid little dad dad. Just being very humble with presenting your knowledge. All people who put significantly less thoughts in their opinion present them as ultimate and only true. I wonder if that doesn't add to some dumb opinions being more popular and prevailing while the actual thought through ideas remain invisible. Oh yeah. And that, that's, yeah, uh, fake Chan or fake face Chan. Confidence. Confidence sells ideas. Um, not to mention confident and simple ideas sell really, really well. So, you know, if there's if there's a complicated human issue at hand and somebody's like, well, you know, you have to admit, you have to like appreciate this from all sides. Like, well, these people want this thing and these people have lived through this and this per like this group has this experience. And there's, it's really hard to find like a solution that works for everybody. And meanwhile, you have another person be like, that's bullshit. It's simple. It's this. They're lying to you and they want to steal your video game. Like, that's, I feel like that's, that's where that dynamic comes from. Uh, simple and absolute ideas, you, yeah, usually come from people who either are pitching it because it's an easier sell, or, uh, oh, right, I forgot. Or because they believe it themselves, uh, fundamentally. So let me think here. What the heck? To like, huh? Can you? You can't like web it and then go around the corner and then pull it, can you? Hmm. Uh, some people got trolls when they just providing criticism. Criticism people don't want to hear, but they may need. Oh, so you thought you thought this gentleman had a legitimate point? Uh, and that I. I in the in the presence of ideas that I did not agree with banned him out of out of anger. Is that is that is that what I'm hearing? Well, that doesn't quite work, huh? Didn't you already open a new path? Did I? Oh, hold on. How does this? Oh, you have to like shoot it down. You can't just grab it and pull it. Never mind. Hmm. All right. Well, if I if I open a new path, I should go back and find it. I don't think they were referring to a specific instance. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Well, I mean, if he was just straight up belligerent, not engaging in back and forth dialogue, he was a troll without question. Ah. Well. There are other kinds of trolls, ones that uh, ones that that let their let their butts slip eventually, and he that gentleman most certainly did. Um, us usually, uh, it's like there's there's a couple of big red flags that somebody's not willing, not trying to engage in in genuine good faith. One is that they start using rhetorical devices and phrases that are very very common and in uh, particular circles it's like okay you're and another is, is like people that use communal communal uh communal pronouns um like and and this this gentleman was doing it very early of being like like you guys or or y your people i'm like you're just talking to me so uh, you know, I, there were a lot of things that, that gave it away, and I, as someone on the internet, I, I can kind of tell. Like, I know, I know it's bad to trust your gut, but I, having been a shitty troll, I can, I can see the, I can see the tactics, I can see him. Huh. Uh, yeah. Oh, I think you should have banned him sooner. Well, so wait a minute. I am, I gotta be honest, I am, I am getting hyper, hyper confused. On, on the nature of your uh, discomfort. You, you thought I, I engaged with this person for too long? Like well after it was obvious. I think, I think that's true. Um, but I was I was trying to avoid the. Uh, so like, it's called a dog whistle. Yeah. There's there's a a very powerful and very working dynamic. 
where somebody can enter into a visible discussion with somebody else, form bullshit arguments to make it seem like they're being unreasonable, and then when when the when the person eventually gets tired of talking, they then get to claim that they're just being intolerant. And the goal is not to win that argument, it's to make that person look less rational in the eyes of everyone else watching. So my goal was to prevent that tactic from working at a certain point. And it's pretty easy to take the wind out of it. You just have to not play along. Um, because the people who run that game have the just the most dirt basic understanding of like like human interactions. Um, they think they think they're Mass Effect flowcharts, basically. So yeah, I, I think I think the engagement those kinds of engagements, uh, like I, I engaged longer than I needed to, because I was on one level. Sometimes I'm I'm uh, I'm passively curious, um, like where the game's at. You know, it's like getting back into. It's oh, a weird analogy. It's like getting back into StarCraft after a while and figuring out what people's build orders are. Like it's it's fun to see. Uh, yeah, at, it's at one point. At some point, it's not about being right or wrong, or either even making the other person be wrong or right. It's about making the other person seem foolish. It's about making them seem reactionary, so that anyone who's watching is like, "Well, that person may be right, but this other person seem they're comporting themselves so much more responsibly. They're not getting upset." It's that facts and logic. Like, why why would you get upset? I'm just asking questions. It's that it's that it's that whole thing, man. It's all it's all a game. It's all a game to, uh, to shape perception rather than, like, exchange information. Jesus Christ, this guy's angry. Ooh! Oh boy, that hurts a lot. Okay, you gotta be careful. It's a tactic to loop you around, yeah. Also, if you suggest a new idea and someone starts to... starts hating to put you on the defensive, which is much harder than criticizing others. Whoa. Woo! Yeah, apparently bullets hurt. Even if you're a, a meaty a meat man. Did you consider my suggestion for a 24 hour stream? Whoa. What was that? Oh man, I just just yanked the head right out of that thing. Oh. You can't, you can't pull it, it's too, too heavy. The weaponizing of emotion is so unbelievably stupid it blows my mind. Oh, anime titty streams for 24 hours. Um, man. Oh. I don't know if I can deal with a 24 hour horny chat. Actually, I absolutely can, so. Just get banned, just continue the stream on Pornhub, yeah. Shed like 80% of your viewership. Yeah, this is every day. Don't pretend like I'm not. Well, I guess I'm not doing that right now. I mean, there might be there might be anime boobs in here somewhere. We gotta go find them. Oh. There's a snow. The way you eat people in this game is pretty horny. Man. I guess I'm impressed that people can get horny about a big meat monster. Ooh, wow. That was a that was a deep sneeze. Okay. There's so much bad going on here. Um, people can get horny about anything. Boy, you said it. You said it. Okay, I'm going to take a break here, actually, because... Um, it seems like John and Jacob will be around for Halo 3 tonight. So, uh, I'll be back in a while. Um, they, wanna, they say around 7, which is going to be about 30 minutes from now. 
Uh, so, but it'll probably be more of like 20. I'll probably be back around then. But yeah, I want to make sure that I'm like, uh, I want to eat dinner. Stretch. Gotta stretch. Gotta hydrate. Check out that posture. Uh, looking forward to Infinite. Eh. I'm not, I'm not just the biggest Halo fan, so. I'm excited for it, I guess. Uh, if for no other reason than, it's always fun to see talented teams make something new. Uh, as a GNC person, I have to check myself so often to make sure I'm not internalizing those emotional arguments or generalizations about certain beliefs. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Part of it's just getting older, too. Uh, I think having having more experience, meeting more people. Oh, no more carry-in? No, I'm sorry, Pop-Tart. I, I didn't, uh, they actually bumped up the time a little bit. So, I apologize. But it's on Game Pass, so you guys can play it if you want. Uh, I'll probably come, I'm, I'm sure I'll come back to it, but yeah. The boys want to play Halo, and I want to make sure that I'm, uh, I'm fed and ready for that action. So, I yeah, I think I'll come back to this at some point. Okay, break time. Dinner time. See you guys soon.